welcome to the virtual room. My name is Jackie Harris and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And this is a special one for me. This is gonna be showing you the trifecta from Imaginary Authors and Noblotter. And uh, this is the Telegrammer scent. Uh, let's, let's talk a bit about Imaginary Authors, why this is so special for me. Um, Imaginary Authors are based out of Portland, Oregon, the city I live in. Um, I, I think Josh Meyer is possibly one of the best independent perfumers in the country. Uh, he he's produced many wonderful fragrances for imaginary authors. Uh, Memoirs of a Trespasser is like outright one of my favorite fragrances, and you you can see that if you watch my my previous uh, fragrance video that Cali uh, was kind enough to tag me in. I've had Cape Heartache is fantastic. Um, th there's just so many of them that are very very good, and I think what what they've done here, especially with this release is they've chosen the perfect release to appeal to a large amount of people. And why do I say that? I think Telegramma as a fragrance has a little bit of everything. So it has amorous, it has uh, vanilla powder, it has talc, it has lavender. As a fragrance, I've got a bit sp sprayed on a piece of paper here. As a fragrance, it has everything. Um, if I was to describe it to you, the, the way I would describe it is the backbone is ultimately quite powdery. However, there's nuances of like this aromatic uh, lav lavender going through it. There's also like this greenness from the amaris, which is really supported very well by the teak. And uh, at, the t at the top, I get this uh, not pungent sweetness, but this subtle sweetness. And that is almost definitely from the, lav from the uh, vanilla powder. The fragrance is so versatile that I think you could get away with wearing this all year. Um, and not many fragrances do that for me. For sure. It's so well-rounded. That powderiness really lends itself to the to the warmer weather. That vanilla powder really helps. It helps the projection in colder weather like, like, like we're in now. I think this is such a well-rounded fragrance. And... Uh, I paid full price for this, and I think it's worth every penny. I, I have the um, the matching full perfume as well. Uh, I, I love to support this company. They do fantastic stuff. And the, 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 the idea of them merging, or at least working with Noble Otto, one of my favorite soap companies, is just phenomenal. And I really, really hope this is a sign of things to come for the shaving community. I. I I want to see an advancement in those fragrances people are putting out and teaming up with people like Imaginary Authors is absolutely the way forward. So I, I hope there are more collaborations between Noble Otter and Imaginary Authors. Please make a memoir of a trespasser. Um, let's talk about the soap. Um, this is the Telegram soap. Now the fragrance in this, the, the fragrance is pretty similar to be honest with you. So I would say um, tiny bit of the soap base coming through initially off of the puck. That isn't actually a problem once you lather the soap. The, the, the scent off the puck is probably quite light, maybe about a four or five. And in this uh, Noble Otto V3 base, it is one of the best bases out there right now, in my opinion, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, to lather the soap up, I'm gonna be using the, my Oku Sevilla let's get a good lather on here um yeah really really happy with uh cody and this project i i think oh cody is the owner from noble otter cody's a decent friend of mine i think they've knocked it out of the park frankly as far as kind of like the scent to go with initially i really hope this has like a good reception from the shaving community and what would be cool is if it attracted some people from the fragrance community in as well um kind of like a if that happened you'll start to see a few more crossovers and i think that's only a good thing for us i'd say i'm part of both like uh i'm part of both the frag community and the wet shaving community more so the wet shaving community but you guys know i love my fragrances too v3 by no blotted loads Super easy into your brush. Look at that. Uh, absolutely no problems whatsoever. 
Let's get the uh, glasses off, let's get the face wet, and we will get to lathering this beautiful soap up. Let's get the residual soap here. Yeah, the, the soap-based scent is completely gone. You get all nuances from the perfume inside the soap, which is very hard to do. Oh, it's genuinely lovely, honestly. It's just, it's, it's just so well-rounded as a fragrance. Um, like I said, year round, definitely year round. There's no doubt about that for me. It's just so nuanced to the sense that I think it can appeal to different types of weather. And that's pretty rare, <laughs> like I said. So I'm really impressed with this release. Yeah, that V3, dude. It's a workhorse of a base. It's so good and it's super easy to use. So we're gonna get a decent um, kind of like layer on before we start splaying the brush here. <laughs> I mean, you could almost shave with that already, but we're not gonna. You guys know what I'm like, I, I love to lather. No Blotters V2 was the first soap base I genuinely fell in love with. And uh, this V3 is a definite upgrade on that. I mean, damn, look at this. I loaded for the same amount of time I normally would. Beautiful, really, really nice. Scent strength is probably more prominent now. I'd say around a, a high five, maybe a six. But there's something always important to remember. The soap doesn't need to be super strong if you have accompanying splash and or perfume here. No, I, I wouldn't, I would highly recommend like when you buy this, that you buy it with the accompanying perfume. I think that really does the, the set justice. You don't need to buy the full perfume. Uh, Josh Meyer, Imaginary Authors, offers reasonably priced samples if you want to sample it first. Very nice. Beautiful. Make a darn good base, Cody. Look at that already. Look at that fucking density. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Yeah, just a uh, great release. Super happy to see it come out actually. When, when I, I was told about it by Latherhog, and I was like, no way. I was looking for a good fragrance for spring. Like I said in that fragrance video, I'm not the biggest uh, kind of like warm weather fragrance fan, but this is this is so nuanced that it just made perfect sense for me. I had this in a uh, short story set by Imaginary Authors. Now a short story set, which is actually probably a good thing to tell you, lets you sample loads of their fragrances for a really reasonable price. Um, if you're curious about their fragrances, you can get that short story set and it really won't set you back very much. And it'll give you decent samples of all of or all of the ones you choose. I think they let you choose eight fragrances. And what that'll do is that that will give you a decent wear of all of them. I mean, just luck. Absolutely stunning. Okay, paint a tiny bit more water into this, and we'll get get to shaving. We're already at nine minutes. 10 minutes, maybe? I don't know, something about that. Okay. 
Okay. So I can't do a special show without a special razor to me. This is the carved Christopher Bradley in stainless steel using the SBC plate, which is my go-to plate. Really good density, providing good cushion on the soap. Residual slickness is just phenomenal. The scent definitely is prominent in the face. I've seen some people complain about uh, the projection of the soap. It's a soap, guys. It's not supposed to be that way. It's Soap is ultimately made for your skin. Scent is something, but if you want the scent, buy the aftershave or the, the perfume. It does a very good job. I can smell it really, like, perfectly fine, so not too sure what people are complaining about. This soap is phenomenal. I tested V3 when he was, uh, when it was coming out. It's really good. <clears throat> I believe, um, this isn't the end of their collabs either. I, I, I think Cody's just been asked to do this one for now, but I think with some success, which this one I think definitely has, we'll start to see more of them. And I hope so. If, if I could get a shaving soap and a Matching fragrance made by Josh Meyer for every one of his scents. I would buy every one of his scents. $95 per bottle may seem a lot, but honestly, for indie perfume, it's such a reasonable price. And then once you get, when you get soap like this, it's just such a perfect matchup. This uh, Oku Sevilla brush is lovely as well. Really, really lovely. It has a really good balance of everything. That's kind of what I look for in a shaving brush and it has just such good balance. Okay, let's, let's do our hybrid pass here. The carved handle always works really well for me, even if my hands are super slippery like they are now. just such a, I call it a mindless razor for me because I'm so used to the ang maintaining the angle. The soap is excellent. <laughs> it really is. <clears throat> Jeez, it just feels so safe. Do a clean up pass and uh, get to the post. The residual slickness on this is just bananas. Honestly, it is. It's so good. Wow. Yeah, I, I could do a clean up pass with this. I, I don't even need to, uh, to lather again. Between the scent and the soap, just, well, absolutely fantastic. Brilliant, that's all we need to do. 
We're pretty close everywhere, very close on the face. It's kind of what I'm after. Let's get this uh, loose soap from the brush, get this on the face, and I'll see you for the post show and the final thoughts. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, oh, post shave time. What a shave that was. <clears throat> really close all around. Let's do a bit of a clean up here. The residual on this is so good. <laughs> like, and that the immediate post shave, there's no tightness whatsoever. Kind of as you would expect from the high end soap bases now. Just a really good post. But we are not done here. We're gonna use the uh, matching Telegram after shave splash. Really good ingredients in this. Um, Cody makes one of my favorite alcohol based splashes. Just get that on the face there. Little burn for me, not much. And then it will be rude to not finish with a bit of perfume. So I'll show you how I like to apply fragrance actually. So what I'm gonna do, once I get this lid off, cause my hands are slippery. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure my wrists are dry. One spray on the wrist. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna dab. Don't rub, just dab. So you have coverage on both both wrists. Now, something I do here, don't do, don't cover your neck here and here, right on the sides of your neck, kind of where your clavicle is, I believe. And if you want extra projection on the back of the neck, there. That's four sprays, well, technically four sprays because I took both sides of my neck. What you're doing there is if someone comes to greet you, they get your scent here. If um, when you're making hand gestures, you get a nice waft of the scent and you'll regularly get a nice waft of the scent come up through your shirt all day because of the two sprays there. But yeah, this, this set is, the, the trifecta specifically, I, I would absolutely recommend buying the perfume if you buy the, the set because that's kind of what it's for. But I, I just have such good opinions of it. It's the, the scent they chose for me is one of the perfect scents to choose for from the imaginary authors line. Telegram, uh, what more can I say? Amazing soap base, amazing fragrance. You really, really can't go wrong in my opinion. Um, I've been sitting on this for a while thinking about how I would talk about it. Um, and I, I've shaved with it once or twice and it's just kind of, it's just blown me away, really. It's such a high quality release. Um, kind of everything you would expect from Noble Otter and Imaginary Authors. A uh, combination made in Dreamland, for me anyway. I love them both quite a lot. And I really, really hope to see some future releases from them. Uh, that was obviously with the matching post shave, which is the aftershave splash. The brush from Oku, which is the, in their Sevilla handle. And last, but very not least, with my favorite razor, the Carve Christopher Bradley in stainless steel. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you know around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I would very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.